हेलो गाइस फार्मास्यूटिकल एनालिसिस इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस एंड पॉइंट्स ऑफ योर बी फार्मेसी फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर दीज क्वेश्चंस यू प्रैक्टिस मींस डेफिनेटली हंड्रेड परसेंट यू आर गोइंग टू पास योर एनालिसिस सब्जेक्ट सो इफ यू आर हैविंग बैकलॉग डोंट वरी यू प्रैक्टिस ओनली दिस क्वेश्चन डोंट गो बियॉन्ड दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन ओनली यूर एग्जामिनर विल आस्क यू द क्वेश्चन ओके अमॉन्ग दिस ओनली so with these टेन and फाइव marks you have to practice some two marks questions okay and uh, where you will get two marks question from where you have to practice that two marks question that also I will discuss in this video so first टेन mark question is define and uh, classify determinate errors with example then list the methods of minimizing errors very important one you have to define the error first then classify with examples you have to write sources of errors then methods to minimize the errors everything you have to maintain here next define oxidation and reduction explain the principle and reactions of ferrous sulfate involved in titration give its application with suitable example here you have to define the oxidation first reduction the redox reaction with example then you have to explain permagnometry method application first you write type some of the uh, means redox types of the reaction bromatometry permagnometry cerimetry this you mention after that you write the permagnometry are you getting so better you can get the notes i am prepared well and good notes for you especially for analysis subject means for all up to fifth semester notes are available if you want means you can purchase the cost is only 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 39 rupees per subject if you want you can consume and via whatsapp you will get the notes pdf form notes and if you want you can purchase on this same number you whatsapp on this same number that is 7353649264 next explain the basic principle involved in redox titration application of titration and potassium iodate same redox titration types then titration of the potassium iodide potassium iodide bromatometry digromometry with application anyone they will ask from this classify acid based titration explain the cuneoid theory of indicators basic question practice this what are primary and secondary standards give examples of uh, primary standards used in different types of titrations and you have to enlist some of the properties of this primary standard then explain the procedure for selection of indicators in the titration between strong acid and strong base using neutralization curves write a note on solvents used in non aqueous titration explain the preparation and standardization of the 0.1 normal of perchloric acid what are different methods of expressing concentration how will you prepare and standardize 250 ml of 0.1 normal potassium permanganate here also same you have to write means how to standardize how to prepare see in analysis what you wrote no in practical same applied here you can write the same answer here means you are going to get the marks next we move for the five mark questions write a note on universal indicators and mixed indicators with example define these indicators and write the applications and examples explain mohr's method of determination of the halides mohr's method very important what is leveling effect in non non aqueous titration then discuss the principle and applications of the argentometric titration that is silver chloride same as mohr's method then explain the principle involved in the complexometric titration in detail how will you estimate magnesium sulfate okay this is complexometric titration okay you have to define this types explain the estimation especially in magnesium sulfate you have to write the assay what is meant by gravitometry analysis describe the techniques used for the estimation of the barium or barium sulfate hmm? next explain the conductometry titration uh, curve of the mixture of weak and strong acids with a strong alkali that is strong acid and strong alkali means here base okay base write the principle and application of the polarographic analysis principle working construction of the dropping mercuric electrode very simple or that is polarographic analysis means you have to write the construction of dropping mercury electrode with the application explain the construction and working of glass membrane electrode explain any two conductometry titration curves that is same as question number 
टू कंडक्टोमेट्रिक टाइट्रेशन मीन्स आइर यू कैन एक्सप्लेन द स्ट्रॉग एसिड और स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस वीक एसिड और वीक बेस एनी वन अमॉन्ग दम एन्यूमरेट द इल्कोविक इक्वेशन सेम एज क्वेश्चन नंबर एट ओके यू गो थ्रू दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सी दिस सेम यू हैव टू राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू एक्सपांड दिस इलोविक वॉट इज दिस एंड यू हैव टू राइट एज इट इज लाइक क्वेश्चन नंबर एट गिव द प्रिंसिपल एंड प्रोसीजर इन्वॉल्व इन द असोई ऑफ एपिड्रीन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड एंड सोडियम बेनजो एट एक्सप्लेन द प्रिंसिपल एंड प्रोसीजर इन वोलार्स मेथड एंड मॉडिफाइड वोलार्स मेथड देन फोर्टीन वन कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द कैलोमियल इलेक्ट्रोड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन कैलोमियल इलेक्ट्रोड देन एक्सप्लेन फजांस मेथड ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द हेलाइट्स फजांस मेथड देन समटाइम्स वॉट डिविल आस इन दर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री मे क्वेश्चन पेपर दिव आस दिस क्वेश्चन Explain any four adsorption indicators used in the Fajans method and explain the mechanism of action. Same, same indicator adsorption indicators means same you have to write. Okay, same what you wrote in Fajans method no same did to you write here. Just you remember some of the indicators. You go through the Google search their adsorption indicators. Write the example. Then define precipitation titration. Explain Fajans method with indicators. Same. Then explain the construction and working of standard hydrogen electrode. In here, you have to define potentiometry and explain. These sixteen question you practice definitely you are going to get the maximum marks and two marks from where you will get. See two marks questions you will get. You just read two marks question from uh, the question paper that is twenty twenty one to twenty twenty three. From this only you collect the two marks questions. Only these questions you read. Hardly you will get twenty uh, questions from two marks. Okay, not more than twenty. You read that twenty questions, two marks questions, and with that two marks questions, you read these sixteen important questions. Sixteen plus eight or nine there from ten marks. Definitely you are going to score distinction more than sixty marks in your analysis paper. Guys, share this video with your B pharmacy friends. and uh, subscribe our channel legend pharmacy our one more channel is present in the descri description that is firoz razamed that too you have to subscribe there you will get the informative knowledge on the medicines thank you